I want to get to know my American viewers better because some of you think that I'm just some German girl with a bad accent. So please allow me to reintroduce myself. First of all, my name is Sarah Sauer. Oh, wait a second. My name is Sarah Sawyer. I own a Fiat Punto, which is of course not a very exciting car, but it is a manual. And as a girl, I know how to drive this car. I know how to shift. Usually, I drive some expensive test cars, like the 2015 Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG. recognize this sexy beauty here well first of all you have this high gloss chrome here in the front apron and then have a look at the grill because in the grill you find those chrome double stripes and talking about the grill you see here here we find a little AMG badge since the release of the Mercedes-Benz GLA 45 AMG AMG is placing little AMG buttons into every grill of their high-performance cars Let's have a look at the side of the S65 AMG. Here you find 20 inch alloy wheels, very strong carbon fiber ceramic brakes, chrome side sills, of course, and I think one of the most important badges, the V12 V Turbo badge. And talking about this badge, I think it's time to have a look underneath the hood. Power for the S65 AMG comes from a 6 liter AMG twin turbo V12 making 630 horsepower and 738 foot pound of torque. Fitted with a 7 speed AMG speed shift plus transmission, this big luxurious beast goes from 0 to 60 in just 4.2 seconds. I mean that's faster than some of the most expensive sport cars. AMG has got the slogan, one man, one engine. What does it mean? It means that only one employee of AMG is responsible for one complete AMG engine for one car. In this case, Michael Kubler is the man. He built this wonderful, powerful piece of art. Thank you, Michael. How do you recognize the S65 AMG from the back? Well, at first sight, it looks like the S63, but then here you find this badge and then you know this car is stronger. And of course, there's the sound. Well, here you have this wonderful sporty exhaust system, which provides wonderful B12 music to your ears. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Electronically controlled intern flaps respond to engine RPM and throttle response. And in this way, they make acceleration and high revs sound pretty amazing. First impression, it's very dark in here, so let's change that quickly. All right, now the privacy shades are gone and let's have a closer look at the interior. I feel like I am on a playground for grown-up people because there are so many things to explore here in the S65 AMG, so let's start. You're thirsty? No problem at all, because here in the back you have got a fridge. Oh, there's only water inside, no champagne. I think this is because I still have to drive. Above the fridge you find a CD or a DVD charger. You want to work or you want to eat, no problem. Just open this little compartment here in the middle of the car. And then you find a table on which you can work or you can eat. Let's check it out. Yeah, you can comfortably place a 13-inch laptop on this table. We have, of course, 
12 volt outlet and a 230 volt outlet in this compartment here and USB connection devices. Then there's something else, you just have to push on it and there we go. There's a Mercedes-Benz smartphone in here. Yep. Behind that you find cup holders which of course you can either cool or heat up. Um, behind the cup holders you find the air conditioning. Of course you got your own air conditioning here in the back of the S65 AMG. This is just pure luxury and I'm not finished yet. Actually something's missing in here. Um, I think I really deserve a massage. Massage function. There we go. There are five different options and uh, personally I like the hot stone massage best. Let me tell you something about the belt in here. They are called belt bag and in the belt there's a thing like a tube and it blows up in case of an accident so you don't get hurt that much. Of course the interior in the front is as luxurious as it is in the back. And the dashboard, it has got a very curvy design, it looks very feminine. The lines are like, you know, swinging, I don't know how else to describe it. I really like to touch the steering wheel as it is partly wrapped in Alcantara, so it gives you a good grip, which you really need when you are on the roads with this powerful, strong car. The only thing I don't like and I think the only thing that sticks out in a negative way in this car is the steering column as this is made of, I don't know, very hard, cheap looking plastic. This is like the only thing that sticks out. Everything else here in this car, you know, is just fine premium quality. All right, let's check out how the 630 horsepower strong engine moves the 2.2 ton heavy sedan. It really amazes me how something so big and so heavy can move with such ease. You can turn fast and accelerate hard. It almost feels like you're driving a sports car and not a huge luxurious sedan. The seven-speed automatic transmission is very quick. In both the sport and manual modes, it offers 100 millisecond upshifts and rev match downshifts. You also have the AMG Adaptive Sport suspension, which automatically responds to any type of road, racetrack or back roads you're taking for a comfortable yet sporty ride. The S65 AMG car we got right here is fully loaded with several assist systems like the blind spot warner, lane keeping assistant and an adaptive cruise control called the Stronic Plus. This is something I really like, especially when you're kind of stuck in city traffic. Once you got to stop, you just activate the Distronic Plus and then all you have to do is just push the gas pedal slightly and then the car begins to drive on its own and it slows down on its own. You have got two suspension modes, Comfort and Sport. And I have to tell you that even when you're driving in Comfort mode, the suspension is still kind of stiff. I was pretty surprised about it because I was expecting, you know, a very smooth ride, but no, it's, you know, bumping from time to time. Furthermore, you got three different driving modes, sport mode, comfort mode, and the manual mode in which you can, you know, shift manually. And in comfort mode, I think you already know, steering is very, smooth and the engine is not that noisy and as soon as you switch into the sport mode you can immediately feel how steering is very tight very stiff suspension gets stiff once you push the gas pedal the car just jumps forward the engine sound is a bit louder and then you just feel the power of this huge sedan Driving on the Autobahn with the S65 AMG is, I have no words. Um, 
it's pushing you so hard it all you know the power comes from the rear it's pushing you and while it's pushing you forward you get Push back into the seats because of the power. Um, this is just an awesome feeling, and you feel like torque uh, will never end. That it is all, all, always there. I can't talk anymore. Sorry. <laughs> this car, by the way, reaches its top speed at 250 kilometers an hour unless you spend some extra bucks on the AMG driver's package then you can get a real speed rush you can hit the 300 kilometers per hour limit which is 186 miles per hour people on the left lane they just vanish they <laughs> see you in their back mirrors and go away I think you might wonder what this V12 B-Turbo S65 AMG sedan costs. Take a guess? Anyone? Well, let me tell you. It's a lousy $222,000. I mean, this is the price tag where it starts. What could you buy with $222,000? Why, why don't you let me know in the comment section below? Well, while I will go back to my Fiat Punto now, I will think about what I would buy if I had $222,000. And this is the only part I hate regarding my job. I have the opportunity to drive so many nice cars and then I have to get back to my Punto. Well, thank you for watching FLD Tours. My name is Sarah Sawyer. See you next time. I have the opinion, uh, no, I <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, wow, where, where, wow, why would I, what I would buy if I had, while I will think about, about, <laughs> by the way, hot. You can view how you choose to fastlanedaily.com or YouTube. Hosted by my man Derek D. Subscribe right now. Don't just take it from me.